guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing 25 facts about me. This is long overdue because I feel like I should have done this at the beginning of my channel, but I didn't and I apologize for that. So hopefully this video can kind of uh, help you guys get to know me a little better. And without further ado, let's get into it. It's going to be 25 facts about me, so hang in there. And I wanted to make it interesting. I did look at several other YouTubers to see kind of maybe what topics I could talk about and stuff like that and they were boring so I try to make it interesting it might sound a little crazy to y'all when y'all hear these facts so I gotta be like oh dang but stay in tune and keep watching if you want to know what's going on in my life all right you guys so starting with number one if you've seen a lot of my YouTube videos you probably already know this fact but I always like to include it and talk about it because I find it weird I don't know why all right let's just get into it so number one I'm scared of algae. Some of y'all probably like, what? You're scared of algae? The plant? Yes, I'm scared of algae. I don't know. This goes back to all the way back in 2007 when I was seven or eight and we went to the beach all the time with my family back in Venezuela. Oh my goodness, my mom and my sister would tease me. And I don't know, it's just something about the algae in the beach that just scares me. It looks creepy i don't know like why are they in there like it just doesn't make sense to me i don't know they scare me and till this day they scare me like if i whenever okay this is what happens when i go to the beach and i see algae i will literally walk somewhere else to the end of the other side of the beach and find somewhere that's clear because i cannot i cannot deal with the algae it's scary i don't know what if there's something under the algae i don't know it's just it's just scary i can't take it the whole thing is just like no no it don't even and it don't matter if you take the algae outside of the of the beach and just show me what it looks like no i can't like i will run away like that's happened they tease me chase me all around the beach like, i cannot deal with algae get that thing away from me number two runner up it's gonna be a lot of like stuff like this so just be cautious okay number two i have a broken nose so i don't know maybe some of y'all might think that your nose is messed up stuff like that or you might think oh you have a nice nose that's a compliment for me because i don't i i don't like my nose okay it's broken right here right here at the bridge i don't know if you guys can see oh yeah right there very unattractive so basically long story short and it won't be short because i'm a girl it's gonna be a long story well i'm gonna try to make it short basically it was back in elementary school and we were playing tag and um i was running around with my eyes closed now now you might say why sophia why i i don't know i was i was seven or i don't know how, seven or eight i was young okay i was dumb i was running around ah, and i was looking back and i'm like ah, with my eyes closed looking back and i don't even know why i'm looking back i got my eyes closed Next thing I know, I hit a big fat pole. You know on recess where they had those like big, big metal poles to, you know, I don't know why they had them, but they did. Anyways, I hit that pole. I kid you not. I hit that pole, you know, looking back and boom, I literally like boom, fell. I didn't pass out. I just fell. And then everybody like stops playing tag and they come to me. They're like, you okay, Sophia? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh-huh. And then... When we went back up to the classroom, I started feeling funny, but my nose did not bleed. That's the thing. My nose did not bleed. But then I started feeling funny, and I think there was only, like, two more periods left. And I don't know about y'all, but I decided to go to the infirmary, and then I decided to call my mom and started picking me up. She was like, no, no, baby, you didn't break your nose. No, stay there. Y'all, Hispanic parents will not come, come get you for anything. Like, it don't matter what happened. They're not going to get you. She said, there's only two more periods left. No, I'm not going to come get you. I had a broken nose, okay? And she never believed me, okay? Till this day, she doesn't believe I have broken nose. Number three is I've never had braces in my life at all. Nope. And even when I went to the desk, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, when I was younger, I didn't brush my teeth every day and stuff like that. And my sister would. And my sister had a lot of cavities and stuff like that. I don't know. The tooth fairy just she just got me. I don't know. I never I never had any problems. Although I will say I didn't like the dentist. I still don't like the dentist because whenever I go there and they put that cleaning stuff in my mouth in my mouth, it feels like sand. But in the future I will probably get my teeth fixed just because I don't feel like they're 
ideal for me. I mean, they're not perfect, but I'm okay with them, so. Number four, you guys always ask me where I'm from and if I'm mixed and stuff like that. I am 100% Venezuelan, and I'm really proud of that, and I'm very proud of my country, and I miss it so much. And I just wanted to include that because that's a big part of my life. And hopefully in the future, I'll do something to where I am in the position to help my country. So I just wanted to include that because that's a big part of me and that's a fact. Now, number five, I have never fully tried shrimp. What that means is I did try shrimp about two months ago. But the thing about shrimp is when I tasted it, it was really crunchy. So I like I spit it out, okay? I don't know, something about it just seems funny, like, I don't know, everything about it, how it looks, just everything. I know people love shrimp, but I don't think it's for me. Like, when I put it in my mouth and it was, like, crunchy, I don't like, I don't know, I just don't think certain foods should be crunchy like that. It was a weird feeling in my mouth and I just couldn't do it, so shrimp is a no-no for me. Number six, I have horrible vision. So when I was little, um, I had to wear glasses because the doctor said I could be blind from one of my eyes. And I could tell you right now that honestly, I feel like I'm fully dependent on one eye because the other one, you could just tell that it just doesn't work. Because whenever I go get my um, annual and stuff like that, whenever I do the eye test, it's bad. Like it's really bad. I cannot even see a big big a like it's really really bad my vision is not 2020 and if you have 2020 vision don't take it for granted okay because when i was little i had to wear a pirate patch i'm gonna call it a pirate patch that's not that's probably not the medical terminology to use but that's what i'm gonna call it because that's what it looked like when i was little i literally had to wear a pirate patch every day after school and do eye exercises and it would be so annoying because it's like when I was little, you know, you want to play with Barbies. You don't really want to do that. But I'm glad I did that. I mean, now, you know, when you're older, you understand why that had to be done and stuff. But when I was little, that I used to dread that because sometimes I even had to go to school with that because it was basically kind of like to force my eye to work harder, the eye that was bad. So that's why that was forced. So I literally would have like a patch cover my eye all day. And it was like, you know, I couldn't really fully see. So... It was just a mess. <laughs> I'm laughing because most of these facts are kind of scary. You guys are going to be like, at the end of this video, you guys are going to be like, wow, yeah, she's really fucked up. Like, yeah, yeah, I am fucked up. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so number seven is when I was little, I had to wear special shoes because I had a disability where I couldn't walk straight. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you do, then you do. Basically, I don't know, like... But it was like I couldn't walk straight. I, obviously, you don't notice that when you're little. You know, your parents do because they're looking out for you and they want you to be okay. So I remember I had to get uh, special shoes made for me to walk straight. I don't know how they work, but, you know, they do their stuff or whatever. And even, like, even when I stopped wearing them, because I would wear them for years and they were ugly. You know, those things are not cute. It's not like cute little fashion shoes. No. Okay, so... I had a lot of insecurities when I was little. I had to wear glasses, which I didn't want to, because you know, I don't know about y'all, but when I was little, I feel like, oh my God, if you have glasses, you're not cute, you're ugly. So I'm like, oh my God, the boys aren't gonna like me. And then I had to wear the ugly shoes. I felt like a clown. <laughs> I'm serious, those were ugly shoes. They were so ugly, like, ugh. But I had to wear them for me to walk straight. And even after I stopped wearing them, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I still couldn't walk straight, but it was just like a mental thing, like I would, so my mom made me focus on it so much that whenever I would walk, I would literally look down. Like, I wouldn't even look at where I was going. I would look down and just focus on walking straight. But every once in a while, I would just, like, one foot would be straight and the other one would just be going in. I don't know how to explain it, but if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what's up. Now it's fixed. I want to say it's fixed. I hope. Number eight. Now, I know my English isn't perfect, but I tried. Um, ways that I started learning English was, uh, one of them was through the dictionary. Like, I would literally get on the dictionary and just study words. And then another main way of me learning English was through Hannah Montana. Like, literally, I would get on there and I bought her CD and I would just listen to what she was saying and try to sing it. And I wouldn't even know what she was saying. Like I said, I mean, my first language is Spanish, so I would just, you know, just be listening to it. I mean, it sounded good. And, um, you know, I'm like, she's Hannah Montana. I hope she's not saying anything crazy. 
So yeah, that's how I started listening uh, to English music and learning English words through her. Because you know, everything sounds better and you learn faster when you hear it and stuff like that instead of learning it yourself without hearing it, if that makes sense. Number nine, uh, a less scarier fact. I actually enjoy reading and listening to books. I more like a hard copy book and just reading it because, I don't know, because I can uh, highlight stuff and just make mental notes and stuff like that rather than an ebook. but it could go either way or I could listen to it as well. But with listening to a book, I kind of get a little distracted a little faster because you could be multitasking and listening to the book. But when you're multitasking, you're not fully taking in the information. So. But I do enjoy reading books. I'm actually reading a book right now. It's about uh, nurses. So I'm really excited um, to read the book and see what's going on with it. So far, so good. Number 10. I die about my puzzles, okay? Mm-mm-mm. I love me a hard puzzle. Like, I don't want an easy puzzle that's just 100 pieces. No. I want it to be 1,000 pieces or 10,000 pieces or higher. I want a challenge, okay? So, if you know me and you think about getting me something for Christmas or my birthday, which is in the same month, but that's not the same thing, um, you can get me a puzzle, okay? I love puzzles. I will love you. I Honestly, I don't even have a puzzle right now because otherwise I would open it and work on it because I love puzzles and they're good for your brain. Number 11, I can play the piano. So, when I was about 12 years old, my mom uh put me in these piano classes so i actually didn't enjoy it that much but looking back on it it's like you know it's an experience and it was nice but i didn't always like it because you know it was memorizing a song and stuff like that so that wasn't always fun but the experience with my um teacher was nice so yeah i I used to have a piano too because we, we bought one for me, but I don't know where it is. But I'd be down to compose a song or something and see what's up, see if I still got it. Number 12, this one makes me so mad. And I know it's first world problems, but hey, we all have those. So I have never been to Six Flags, okay? And I'm so mad about it, okay? I'm 20 years old, I'm gonna be 21 in December, and I'm just like, bruh. Take me to Six Flags, okay? Someone take me to Six Flags. Please. Like, oh, I want to go so bad. And I'm the type of person where I'm going to get on those crazy rides. I will, mm, I don't care because I like that feeling. I like that feeling of adrenaline. When I'm on that roller coaster and it's going down, I love that feeling. So if you're thinking about somebody to take to an amusement park, take me. Because I'm not scary. I'll go on all the rides, okay? Even the ones that go up and all the way down. Because I think I got used to it right now. Look, take me. I'm, a, I'm all about the hype, the adrenaline. Like, let's do this. Just take me to Six Flags. <laughs> Number 13. This one might come as a shocker to some of y'all, but most of you guys already know this. I don't like fake lashes and I know that's like the big thing nowadays and stuff like that but I'm just not about it I like my natural lashes these are my natural lashes so I'm okay with them and if you got long lashes then you don't gotta worry about it I understand why people wear long lashes because not everyone's growth is the same but mine mine works just fine and it works for me and I'll, I'll have people hit me up talking about um oh can you promote this and that and i'll be like yeah sure and then what they want to promote is some lashes and i'll be like oh i don't wear lashes sorry and i don't want to like be fake and say i'll do it because i'm not comfortable wearing fake lashes i don't even know how to put them on to be honest and i don't even feel like i look good in them so but when i tell people that people will just immediately cut me off i'm like oh, okay it's fine with me number 14 honestly i wish i could skip this one because just me saying the word is cringe. Basically, I can't say this specific word in English. And sometimes when I say it, people will be like, oh, you can't say it. So let me just say it and you guys can tell me whether or not I can say the word or not. I, I feel like I can't say the word correctly, but let me know. I can't say muttered. See? See, that didn't, that did not come out sounding good. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it. But, you know, the show, that word I just said, family. That show, I like that show, but I can't say the show name, okay? I can't say that word. And I'm glad 
that that's not in my daily vocabulary because I can't say that word and it makes me so mad because it's cringe. Number 15 is that I've secretly always wanted to be a dancer. So with my career path now, I want to be a nurse. But I feel like in another life, I could be a dancer. I love the show Bring It. I love a lot of dancing shows. And I, when I was younger, when I used to watch dancing videos and stuff like that, I would try to mem uh, memorize the choreography and see if I could do it. But the thing about me is, the reason why I can't be a dancer in this life is because I don't have the attention span for being a dancer like I can't memorize moves that fast like when I watch the show bring it the girls have to memorize things so fast I could never okay I could never I applaud you dancers because you guys don't get enough credit that is hard to memorize something that fast on the spot I could never okay I could never that's why I can't be a dancer in this life Fact number 16 is a movie that always makes me cry no matter how many times I watch it is the movie Hachi. So it's basically about a dog and the owner and I, I just want to say I love dogs but regardless that movie is sad and if you don't cry I don't know what's wrong with you. That movie was really sad. Basically, um, long story short, the owner dies. And the, and the dog is really sad and the owner used to um, ride the train station every time he went to work and the dog would follow him to the train station and the dog would stay there until he came back. But when he died, see, I'm already getting sad, but when he died, he never came back and the dog just stayed there in the train station for years. She was sad. Number 17. I have a geographic tongue. Now, I wasn't going to come out and say this because some of y'all are going to be like, that's gross. It is gross, but I can't change it, and that's that. That is what it is. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. And actually, one of my favorite YouTubers, Janine Amapola, she actually has a geographic tongue, and she came out and said that, like, about a month ago. And, I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed about. Fact number 18 is I'm a Sagittarius. Boom. We always like to brag about being a Sagittarius, and it's true. Just because we we the best. We the best sign. Period. We are. Um, I was born on December 16, and in Venezuela, that day was a very tragic day. Like, it was raining. It was bad. And if you even look it up, like, this is real. Like, this will be in the history books of Venezuela. So, I feel good about that. I'm like, yes. Like, you were born on a rough day. Like, you know, you did that, you know. That's how I feel about it. Number 19, I hate ham. Some of y'all are going to be like, Ben, what, how do you eat your sandwich stuff? I can live without ham. And I've concluded that because when I was little, I used to love ham. That's the thing. I used to love ham. But long story short, if you love ham and you don't want to hear this part, you can skip on through. Basically, my family, we did a home experiment with ham to see what was in the ham. Um... You know, if you know, you know. But basically, we did the experiment, and it was just gross. Like, I remember, I still remember vividly in my head what that looked like. Like, everything that was in the ham and stuff like that, and all the hairs. What? Never again. I said to myself, yeah, no, this is something I can live without. Yeah, it's a little bit good, but I can live without it. Never again. That's why I don't like to watch shows where they expose what's in the food or stuff like that because you will definitely change my mind, okay? You will definitely get me on to not ever eat that stuff again. Mm -mm. And ever since that day, never had him. And I'm glad I, I, I just, I can't do it because I just know it's embedded in my head and I cannot eat ham ever again in my life. Number 20. This one might piss y'all off, but honestly, it's my opinion, and I can say whatever I want on my platform. I'm pro-choice. What that means is if you want to get an abortion, I'm okay with that. I feel like, you know, it's your body, it's your choice. You know, that's just how I feel. Because some people don't have the means to financially take care of a child. You know, you have to take all that into consideration. And then we can go more in depth about it, like what if you were raped and stuff like that. But we can do that on another video. I'm just saying, it's, it's your decision, it's your body, it's your choice. Number 21. This one could also be kind of 
controversial but i don't know it's really all up to your life experiences i believe in ghosts and i believe in aliens yup now this goes like i said this goes with like family experiences as well a lot of my family members have seen ghosts okay now none of us have seen any aliens but there's literally documentaries of people saying that they've seen aliens and i don't know why anybody would make that up and stuff like that like i believe that and if you don't if you think you're the only person in this whole planet world galaxy then you're fooling yourself no but that's something we can get into into another video as well and i have never seen a ghost either but when i watch investigation discovery and when i hear what my family says out of their mouth i believe it like what are you talking about like people can be possessed you can see ghosts all of that is very real number 22 this one actually happened uh more recently about a year ago i was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis but before i was diagnosed i actually almost died i'm i'm so serious i actually almost died because i didn't have enough blood in my system so um i went to the er and i was in the icu and i didn't even know like I didn't even know, I don't, I don't know, I'm stupid, okay, that's all y'all need to know, I'm stupid, okay, I didn't even know that I didn't have enough blood, but basically, whenever I would walk, I couldn't even walk, I can tell you right now, I couldn't walk from this end to the, to the room, to the other end to the room, without feeling tired, I was like so tired, and I would feel dizzy, and, I, and for the first time in my life, I felt like passing out, and I've never felt that way, but I don't know, I just thought it was because I was dehydrated or something, I don't know, okay, I don't know what I thought, but yeah, they had to give me a transfusion. Is that what trans? Is that what it's called? Yeah, they had to give me a blood transfusion and pump me with blood. And all I can say is that feels weird. Somebody else's blood going into you, it just feels weird. But it's cool. It's cool that that's happening because you know that saved my life. But it's weird at the same time because you can feel the blood going into you. At least I could. It just, it just felt. It just, I could just feel it. But yeah. And I'm glad to be alive to tell a story today. Number 23. I like to incorporate little things in my day-to-day -day basis that will make me happy or smile. Or I would, I would like to believe that this is possible. Basically, I like to make 11-11 wishes whenever I see 11-11, 11-11 a.m. or 11-11 p.m. I don't care. You know, make a little wish. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. I feel. I mean, I believe in it. You don't have to. But, like, you know, just join me. If I'm like, oh, it's 11 11, like, you know, just make your little wish. Like, you don't have to believe in it. You know, I hope it comes true. But if it doesn't, it's okay. You know, just little things like that that I feel like make a difference and make me smile when I see it. Number 24. So we have one more to go. So hang in there. I hope this video is not too long. But if it is, sorry. I have four siblings, five including me, so I have two brothers, two sisters, and then me. So, I don't know, I just like to say this because I feel like some people might think I'm an only child, but I'm not. And I'm glad I'm not, because I feel like it wouldn't be fun, because I have a lot of fun with my brothers, even though I don't live with them, because they all live in Venezuela, and I'm the only uh, sibling that's here. But it's just nice to always have somebody to talk to and rely on and just tell them your little secrets and stuff. Because there's just some stuff that you can't tell your mom or your friend to where you can count on your siblings and tell them something like that. Number 25. I wanted to end it on something juicy. At least something that I find juicy because sometimes people might think I look tall, but I'm actually really, really short. So... To end it on this note, if you want to know how tall I am, you gotta get this video to 2K views and how many likes we gonna do? Let's say 200 likes because we have never hit that. So let's see if we can do that. If you're really curious to know what height I am. Hmm. And there better not be anybody spoiling it and letting people know how tall I am. That's rude. Don't 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 let the people know. Alright you guys, that is it for 25 interesting facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys don't think I'm really really messed up <laughs> because I am. I do have a lot of problems internally and externally but 
hey that's life and i'm okay with that i wanted to make it interesting i hope i didn't scare y'all but i wanted to make it interesting and i actually told my sister all of these facts to see like if she thought they were all fine and she was like my god like these sound scary like why are you telling all the people all your problems <laughs> i just wanted to make it interesting i wanted to um for you guys to get to know me a little better so hopefully that helped and I didn't scare y'all away. I encourage you guys to watch more of my videos and see what's up and see if you like me. And if you do, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your auntie. And I'll see you guys in my next video.